All right. Oh shit, my microphone will not stay put right now. Hold up. Come on, mic stand. Stop being a pain in my ass. All right, microphone. Are you good? Are you okay? You're not gonna move. That's cool. Thank you. All right. So let me do one thing first. Check and see if my mic is even on, or I will have a repeat of last night in which I recorded for like recorded. I streamed for like two hours, and my mic was muted the whole entire time. Think I'm going to. I want to lower. First, of all, I'm lowering my headset because the game is always so loud for me. Think I'm going to lower my audio by like one, maybe one and a half. Yeah, one and a half. Not one and a half. Um, just a half. What am I saying? Okay. So, I hope everything is going well. I hope the stream sounds fine. I hope there's no fuck ups. Let me look at it. It seems good on my end. All right. <clears throat> And take a sip of my water, because yet again, I have been drinking, just like last time. I'm not a huge drinker, but I had some wine left over from last night. And I thought that would be fun to finish drinking it today. So, medieval, right? Every time I see this word, I think meta-evil. I, I don't know why. I just feel like I should be saying that instead. But... You guys voted on it in the uh, community tab, and thank you for the votes. It was actually it was actually the most um, participation I had out of all the votes thus far, and you guys won it medieval 100% playthrough. Uh, I have 100% at this game before. If that's not apparent, here's what you get for. Uh, I'm not sure if it's for 100% or getting the platinum trophy. You get this nice tab called old game, and what that does is you click on that right. You click on that and something awesome happens. That shit happens. I feel like every remake made ever should just have this in the game now. If you 100% the game, you get the old version of the game. It's kind of cool. It's really kind of cool. I like it a lot. 1998, that was a good year. That was a good year. Um, but yeah, for people who like Medieval, when this got announced, it was like, it was really like eye-opening. It's like, oh my god, they care. And it's so, it's so weird because it's one of those things where it's like Medieval had, had had a remake before on the PSP. There was Medieval, then they made Medieval 2 the following year, then PSP they made, they made Medieval Resurrection. I believe that was Resurrection. Which is basically a remake of the first game. And then I think they remade it again. I think they remade the second one again on the PSP. I'm not sure. Like, I'm not that crazy with Medieval. But yeah, you get the uh, you get to play the old game. Is my controller dead? Why won't it? Oh, I don't have a save file on the old version of this. Because I, I haven't played it. But we're not playing the old version. I'm pretty sure we're not here for that. And if we were here for that, um, I'm sorry. Right? It's a remake. Might as well play the remake, right? Everything in its updated graphics and everything's all beautiful. Actually, this game looks really good. And I really like that there is a a nice game that is perfect to play around Halloween time. I believe this came out October. Uh, its release date was around October. Maybe it was like... I think it was like October 4th or something? But, yeah, it's nice to have a, a non... A non-scary game. Um, I think I was supposed to watch that cutscene, honestly. I don't think I was supposed to skip that. Oops. So basically, our story starts here, right? In the, uh, in the Kingdom of Galamir. Here in the Kingdom of Galamir. Uh, shit. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm trying to summarize the story, but I'm not that, I don't know that much about Medieval. I like it, I played the old versions, but I don't know that much about it. So we have, basically, in the olden days of Galamir, there was a, there was an incident 
with this evil sorcerer right here and he wanted to raise a dead army and take over the kingdom right now within that kingdom there was there was a man a man of great cowardice and he told the tallest of tales basically remember the boy who cried wolf that's uh, that's that guy if he you know didn't die by the wolf and grew up and his name was sir daniel now sir daniel he he is a man of absolutely no right or uh or no achievements whatsoever in his life he's just a fucking liar right but the kingdom loved his tall tales and stories so much that he appointed him a high rank in the in the kingdom now when the time come for him to prove his worth of that high rank within a battle against the sorcerer that we're seeing right now sir daniel went and fought valiantly and bravely and his name was known throughout all of history as such a as such a very courageous and and a fortuitous man but that was all a lie because actually he was the first one to die in the battle right a volley of arrows came and he got one right in the eye first one to fall and that's the story of sir daniel the true story anyways now after that fight the battle was fought and the war was won by the kingdom by sir daniel's army that he led and by led i mean he just pointed and said go i guess right so they did his job for him but the king loved them so much that you know the victories uh the victors get the right history and he basically wrote down in history books that sir daniel's a great hero that saved galamir now a hundred years have passed the sorcerer has survived, as you can see, and he is back to take over the kingdom. I don't remember the sorcerer's name, it's like Zorok or something like that. And with his army of the dead, as you can see, he's just putting, putting you know, green funk everywhere. He's going to claim the king of Galamir, the king of Galamir, the kingdom of Galamir, for his own. Now, as it so happens... His spell of rising the dead has also arisen our friend Sir Daniels, right? And now it is time for Sir Daniel, with the help of of the heroes of legends, you know, by help I mean, you know, they give him advice, maybe some items here and there. It's up to him to live up to the legend, become the man that the legend tells and claims him to be by heading headfirst into danger and saving the kingdom of Galamir with his last dying breaths literally so that's where we're at right now I could have let the cutscene play out but I skipped it and I'm not sure if the cutscene is going to play again if it does I'll we'll watch it I guess nope it doesn't play again does it? I don't think it plays again. I think this is just the beginning. So, hopefully I did a good enough summary. I may have caught some details wrong there, but here we are in the crypt of Sir Daniel. And there he goes, our brave warrior. Such a, such a legend. So what's weird is that I believe again I believe the sorcerer's name is Zorark. Uh, can't pronounce it Zorark, or Zalak, or something like that. Um, I find it weird that even though he has like you know he used a spell to raise the dead to do his bidding, for some reason Sir Daniel doesn't do his bidding. Whether it's through willpower or whatever. It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue. Ah, yes. Sir Daniel Fortescue. I love the gargoyles' voices in this game. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the same. 
savior of the day. But we know it's better. So basically, also Sir Daniel's, I guess his, I guess his jaw just, uh, just like um, what's the word I'm looking for? Decayed off over time. So he doesn't talk. He mumbles. Xerox, that's how you pronounce it. I thought it was an O instead of an A, that's why I kept trying to say Zorark. Like he's a fucking Pokemon, right? Alright, so, when I was playtesting this, I noticed that my other controller had a little bit of a problem when I tried to turn, and Sir Daniel would just walk and he wouldn't run. So I'm using a different controller. Fucking... I talked about it, I believe I talked about it in the, not the last stream, but the stream before that, where like, uh, for some reason, this whole entire generation of controllers are just fucked. So hopefully next generation, which actually, it's funny, earlier today, uh, PlayStation announced that on the 16th, they're doing a nice little live stream for the PS5, so that's nice. So over here, pick up your small sword, and you'll notice some books around here, they'll tell you how to play, right? You will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. In it, you will also find... All right, so I thought they were going to say something like important, important, right? So basically, let's not get, you know, the statue's ass in the camera. These things are called tomes. You pick them up, they, they're basically your keys. Use them to unlock shit. Uh, most chests you'll run into will have money that you can use. At, uh, you can use the money at merchant gargoyles to buy shit. Some of them will have... Uh, items like the dagger help you out. Our little sparkle thing here is a targeting, an auto targeting thing. So, yeah. Uh, the books throughout the game, they have like lore for the game and stuff like that. And I would love to sit here and read them all, but it will take forever. This game is actually fairly short. When this game, like last time I 100% in this game, uh, was literally, last time and the only time I 100% at this was, um, the night it came out, I bought it, played it for five hours, got 100%, and then just played it for like two more hours to get the Platinum Trophy. Which is basically, if you're at the point where you need the trophy to get a bunch of money, just keep loading in Dan's Crypt, which is literally this area right here. Run in, you know, and grab the money and just run out. It'll take you like a little bit of time, but you know. Over here... We, uh, I believe they're called life vials, right? Life bottles. All right, cool. Vials, I think, just give you health. Life bottles, uh, right there, you see, like, a bottle icon on our health. That's our extra health bar, so that's nice. Um, for the most part, range weaponry in this game is really good. Uh, fighting close combat in this game, it's feasible, but it's not the best thing to do. Right, and our bronze shield we have here right now is pretty shit. So, throughout this game, there's going to be, uh, you know, Dan's Crypt aside, there's going to be an item in the level called the Chalice. But you can't pick it up the moment you see it. The moment you see it, the thing is actually, like, intangible. You can't pick it up. It's incorporeal, right? Incorporeal. Incorporeal, right? Uh... You know, translucent, see-through, whatever. Can't touch it. It's fucking... It's going ghost like Danny Phantom. In order to get that chalice, you have to kill enough enemies in the level. Get to 100 chalice points. You know, 100% with the chalice. Then you have to go find it, pick it up. Right? And that's... And once you pick up the chalice, you'll get sent to the Hall of Heroes. We'll talk about the Hall of Heroes when we get there. Right? Um, What else is there? Well, there's zombies over here. So this is... This is what close quarter combat look like. You run up to things, and you swing your sword. You also hold the button down. Not that button. Circle? Yeah, you hold down the circle button. You get a nice spin attack. Which is basically what you're going to use. You know, you get your, uh... What's called R1. You crouch and block. There's no, like... Not to my knowledge. I could have sworn, like, in the older games, you can, like, crouch and, like, you know, stab things. But I'm not sure if you can do it in this. I'm not sure. It's been a while, right? Maybe it's in the second game you can do that. So, most of your combat, you're probably going to be wanting to use ranged weaponry. 
Now, combat in this game isn't the easiest, right? But it's definitely not too hard. I feel like I should back up from the, uh, from my, um, screen. Because I'm like, I'm a little bit too close to it. I'm like looking upwards and it's like hurting my neck a little bit. Like, you know, directly upwards. All right. So, back to where we're at. So most of the time you're going to be using ranged weaponry for this game. Keep your distance. You don't have that much, that much like fighting prowess, right? Your defense isn't that high. You can't tank hits. So don't even try to tank them. So as you see, we're killing enemies up in the, up in the upper uh, right here in corner. You can see that the challenge percent, the uh, chalice percentage is going up. Here you'll see these things. We need the earth ruin. Over here is a nice little fountain, life fountain. You stand in it, you get your life back. These things are limited, and by limited, I mean they're limited until you exit the level and come back. But they basically refill your health, and then they refill uh, any of your bottles if they need to be refilled. Right? And I think that's mostly it for this game. There's not really that much. There's money over there. There's not that much to talk about in this game. It's just a nice, a nice good old game. Nice fun game to play. And it's perfect for Halloween time. Even though right now it's nowhere near Halloween time. But we're doing it early. We're doing it a month early. Because, you know, once it becomes October, everyone and their mother are going to start... Going to play every spooky game they can. Uh, the hands that are walking on the ground won't hurt you at all. They're pretty harmless, actually. So... I grabbed the earth room, right? Oh, yeah, no. I grabbed this chaos room. Oh! Dickheads. Sometimes, it's good to use close range. For moments like this. Now, don't worry. There are upgrades that we'll get later in the game that makes fighting a breeze. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Man, I really love the soundtrack for this game. So over there, you can see uh, the spirits that we kill are going to that chal chalice. I don't know why I can't enunciate that word. It's going to that chalice to make it available for us to get. Spin attack, for the most part. One hit kills things. Oh yeah, I forgot. Sometimes you'll come across areas in the game in which you're like, oh, I'm stuck, I don't know what to do. Usually, that's when you take a book. Right? You read a book. The here is and they give you nice little hints. So, we're not going to read this whole entire thing, because the narrator's a little bit slow. Filled. Well, she's talking about the chalice. I think it's over here. This book that says it? Right? Is it this one? Remember, nothing remains yeah. So basically, they're saying make sure that the um, angel... Smack the statue, Daniel. Thank you. If the angel is looking at something, pathway becomes unlocked. So, do that. Come over here. And a couple more kills, we should be able to... Come here, bastards. A couple more kills, we should be able to 100% that chalice. Now, you want to pick up these life bottles. In the levels, you'll find life bottles. There will also be uh, life vials or potions or whatever the fuck they're called. But you'll know if it's a permanent health upgrade if it's a bottle like this. You get it? Now we have three health bars. That's wonderful. Uh, what was I supposed to do? I think I was supposed to... Was I supposed to hop down? Nah. I think that was just there to get the life bottle. Come on. Now, throughout this game, some weapons will have durability. Your small sword doesn't have durability, but there are enemies in the game which can steal your small sword, and if that happens, you, um... I say enemies, but there's only one enemy that can steal your items from you. And if that happens, you just head to the Merchant Gargoyle and you buy it back, right? So we just got the notification that our challenge is able to be picked up. So basically... It's been such a long time since I played this game. I might get lost in some of these levels. 
if I if I hurry through the game, right? If I speed through it, we can we can beat it in one sitting. It'll be like a long stream, like around like five hours or something. But we can do it in one sitting. It's not that bad, right? But I have to like really like focus on the game, like not speed run it, but like you know basically bolt through it. So honestly, for the most part, there's really no reason to fight enemies, right? They're not that important. Once you get the chalice, you have the chalice. You can just ignore the ever-living shit out of them. Right? There's no level up system. The only reason for killing enemies... Is... I'm not even sure if they drop things. I'm trying to remember. Oh. Cool. We're done. Right? I'm not even sure if they drop things, to be honest. I'm trying to think if they drop money or something like that, or life bottles. I think some of them might drop, like, potions here and there. Um, or money, or maybe ammunition. But here's the Hall of Heroes. Every time you get a chalice in a level, at the end of the level, you head to the Hall of Heroes, you know? And within Hall of Heroes... Welcome to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity. Feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. So, by that worthy enough stuff, whatever, basically it's just, get a chalice, you unlock the ability to get an upgrade. That's basically what it is. Sometimes it's upgrades, sometimes it's a new weapon, sometimes they'll just give you money or, or a health upgrade, right? But most of the time, you want those fucking weapons, right? Now, each... Basically, the Hall of Heroes is like Valhalla. Where it's, uh... Where it's where the great warriors go to... I, I assume that's Valhalla, right? In Norse mythology. It's where the great uh, warriors go to rest. Where they feast and battle. For all eternity. Right? Here... We have a statue of us. In our incorporeal form. Right? incorporeal form, what am I saying? The statue is incorporeal. So, this is where our Hall of Heroes statue would go. You know, if we had one, right? So, we have to earn the right. Throughout the game, I believe there's a total of 23 chalices? And over here, the nice little green area, area? Yeah, nice little green marker here. You can talk to the, you know, the champions, and they will give you something. So here is, um... I want to call him Tiny Tim for some reason. I think it's Canny Tim is his name. He's basically a fucking kiss-up. And I think he was Sir Daniel's, like, little right-hand man, right? Captain Fortescue, it's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and it can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I used it at the Battle of Galamir. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kardak, a clean kill through the eye of a thousand yards. <laughs> Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. <laughs> oh, goodbye, sir. So basically, Candy Tim is the suck-up to Sir Daniel Fortescue, who was the king's suck-up, right? So, we have an upgrade, a new weapon. We have our crossbow. Which does more damage. Well, does it do more damage? I think it does more damage than the knife. But basically, knife. Yeah, throwing knives we have. Make sure we equipped our shit. Over here are the mer merchant gargoyles. You can buy daggers. And, you know, rounds for your crossbow. Most of the time, you'll have an abundance of money. Nothing to worry about. The game's pretty easy sailing. And just like that, that's pretty much everything we need to know about Medieval. So with that, let's head to the Graveyard? Cemetery Hill, my bad. There are also some levels in which they act kind of like a Metroidvania, in which you really don't, like, you won't be able to get the Chalice until you get an upgrade, then you come back for the Chalice. And Cemetery Hill is one of those levels. It's actually a fairly short level, because the ending is right in sight, 
right there. You go to it, done, right? I think I'm gonna up the volume on the game. Seems a little bit low to me. By like maybe two points. Two decimals. New book of Galamir added to your entry. So three crossbow bolts, zombies are done, right? Don't worry about the chalice in this level. Actually, don't worry about anything in this level. All you need to worry about is this hill right here. Up oh, and those lava rocks. So, what you want to do is while you're climbing this, hold your shield button. You'll be able to deflect regular rocks. It'll have a little bit of knockback on it. Right? And they'll do a hell of a lot of damage to your shield. Right? But what you don't want to run into are those lava rocks. Because they are not your friend. They will push you around. Ah, that ah, shit. Like that. Can we take a moment to, like, appreciate this soundtrack? It's very, like... It's mystical. It's like... You know the first Harry Potter movie? Um... What is the first Harry Potter movie? Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, Sorcerer's Stone, when he first gets to Hogwarts, and you have that... You have the nice, like, nice score playing. Oh, how's it going? Blood Ministration? <laughs> Spooky. Spooky name. Very, um... What's the word I'm looking for? Sinister, if I may ask. Am I getting stuck on the fucking walls? We have failed the master. We, we have failed the master. They just killed themselves because they couldn't hit me with rocks. That's kind of just... That's kind of sad when you think about it. Oh no, he made it up here. Time to kill myself. Sorry, Master. Alright. But yeah, the musical score in this game is just so good. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. I pressed the triangle button to open the chest, but I got stuck on the book instead. So yeah, don't worry about Cemetery Hill. You just walk past that. We'll come back for it later to get 100%. There's a lot of levels like that. Well, a lot. I say probably like maybe four, five levels that are kind of like that. Onward. To the hilltop mausoleum now i actually really like this level because it has a lot of care um a lot of character to it in terms of like it's a it's a great level to just like it has like the i the identifying characteristics of what this game is like just very like spooky themed mystical um got these little imps here so these imps these are the guys that can steal your shit don't let them they can steal your they can steal basically everything you have whether it be fucking money or uh or your sword or your shield if you kill them fast enough you can get it back right i'm burning like a bitch right now the smart thing to do is to pull out your crossbow and just shoot them Right? For some reason, I decided... You stay the fuck away from me. There you go. Now he's running. This has a shield in it, or a club? Club. Alright, so the club. Club's big, heavy, you whack things. Like your fucking Bam Bam from the goddamn Flintstones, right? Bam Bam. Like that. There's some things in here. You might want to check these. There's like money, or like a... Like a potion or something. Uh, one of these has the chalice in it, I think. I think this is the one with the chalice in it? No. Actually, it doesn't have the chalice in this one. The chalice is behind, like, a gate in this level. So let's head down here. Have a moment to appreciate the music that's playing. It's so damn good. Alright. Shoot through the stained glass. 
get the little imps. Alright. Now that that's over, I want to switch back to my sword. My trusty sword. Alright. I'm shocked that I got hit by that. Usually I just run through and swack him. Swack him? Thwack him. Like with Spider Man. Thwack. Spider Man goes thwack. When he shoots his wife, he goes thwip. Right? Come on, Sir Daniel. Aim sometimes, man. Oh, shit. That's not good. Alright. So tell me, how's your day's been going, guys? Anything fun, interesting happen? As I run away, a la fucking, a la, um, Indiana Jones style, you know? Like a mad dash. This way. I'm trying to think, do I have the, no, I don't. I think it's, um, I think we gotta get a little bit further in the game to get, uh, to get the, uh, what's called the shield dash? Oh shit, I didn't even see him there. You, back up. How dare you. How dare you even try. Alright. Oh! Be careful. These guys are... I don't want them to steal my shit. That's why I'm running from them. Damage, I'm not that worried about. Them stealing my shit, though? I'm worried about it. Like, like, like that! Get my sword! What? Come on. Shh. Switch to the crossbow. Get my sword, you little bastard. God. So, as you saw there, I slightly panicked. But, um... Oh, stop it. <laughs> I slightly panicked, right? But, just in case you have no weapon... Sir Daniel can take off his arm and beat the shit out of people with it. He can also throw it. I forgot how to throw it. <laughs> I forgot how to throw his arm. How do you throw his arm? Is it hold it? Hmm. Is it circle? Yeah, it's circle. Throw his arm. There is a uh, trophy, actually, for this level. I think if you beat this boss in this level with just your arm, you get a trophy for that. All right? So, uh, hold up. Is this, yeah, that's locked. Okay. It's been a while since I played this. Gotta remember some things, you know? Oh, I stole my fucking crossbow, you piece of shit. Is he stuck? Alright. <laughs> well, that was fun. Get our health back. And head this way, if you can go through the doorway, Sir Daniel. Thank you. Pick up the moon ruin. That's great. Now we run back. Stop getting stuck on the corner, Sir Daniel. Right? Sir Daniel Fortescue! The moon ruin is... Oh, no. We gotta... We gotta fucking go all the way around. Forgot. I promise. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Here we go. And here, we have the nice, uh, what is this, an organ? An organ player. Alright, read this book. The would-be phantom longs to play a new tune, but he seems doomed to repeat the same cause of despair over and over. I really like this guy. I wish there was more of this, like, kind of... It's not goofy, but it's not like, it's not, it's not that tragic, right? It's just like, here's a funky skeleton dude playing shit. So, over here. We grabbed our nice tile. We need that guy to help us out. You know, when I play this game, I get like a, like, back in the day, I get like a uh, Hocus Pocus feeling. Like, you know the movie Hocus Pocus with the Sanderson sisters? I believe that's how you pronounce the names. 
I had that on like fucking Blu-ray. I bought it last year. I watched it for Halloween. It was great. Man, it aged. That that movie did not. In terms of enjoyment, it aged well. Well, in terms of like special effects and everything, that movie did not age that good. But Hocus Pocus, still a good ass movie. Love it. Back when you know Disney made good movies instead of like teen dramas shitty teen dramas too like really bad ones it's like oh no the guy that I like doesn't like me what do I do it's like all right calm down Disney Channel can we get back to can we get back to like good shit <laughs> so over here we notice that this nice little funky thing appeared. This is why I like this level so much. Because it's interesting in terms of like, it presents the characteristics of this game pretty well. It's so interesting that our first boss is pretty interesting in itself. You don't really see this in games. So our first boss is the stained glass demon. I believe that's what it's called. It's just a demon made out of stained glass given light. I like it. It's very creative. Right? It's a way to think out the box. It's pretty nice. And it's something that's both... Something that's both like a little menacing, but very colorful to look at and pretty. So basically when your heart shows, you want to shoot it like a motherfucker. And he's going to do that. And he's going to jump around. And that's pretty much it with the stained glass demon. Now, if there's anything about this uh, creature, about this boss that, I, uh, that I'm a little bit disappointing, disappointed about in the remake, is that they could have gave... Oh shit, I'm not even facing him the right way. They could have gave him like... Oops. Make sure I get out of that. They could have gave him like a better model... Like, make the stained glass, like, more translucent. Like, really, like, see-through. Oops. I ran straight towards him. Oh, tried to jump over that. I fucked it up. I got a ton. I got tons of health. I'm not that worried. All right. Oh, shit. Stay around the corners. Take your shield out. All right. Take that hit. Take time to appreciate that soundtrack. It's beautiful. Once he jumps in the middle, that's when he gets ready. And that's it for the stained glass demon. Yeah. They could have just made his, like, they could have made the stained glass I'm a little bit more translucent and see through instead of, like, kind of low poly. Right? Because it's pretty, it's pretty low poly for what it, for what it looks like, you know? Especially for this day and age. It's kind of a lame model. But we get the skull key. That's amazing. Oh. Don't have the chalice. That means we're missing something. Oh, we're missing, um... Gotta head back down. Because we have the moon ruin. Don't forget this. Picked up the moon ruin. Head down over here. We're gonna help out our friend. Switch to my crossbow. Now the chalice is available. Down here, you want to not get your weapon stolen. Right? And you want to pick up this sheet music and then run like hell. Once you run like hell, just head back up to where we were, hand the sheet music over to our... Our Phantasm and friend, you know, our Phantom of the Opera over here. That's another good ass movie. I like Phantom of the Opera. It's great. Give him something new to play. Take this. And that's where we get our chalice. Don't need to pick these up, but I will. Makes me feel complete. 
you know? And with that, we're off to the Hall of Heroes. <clears throat> I need a drink of water. Because my throat hurts. <clears throat> Doing these live streams and when I record is like the time when I talk the most. It must think it is a hero by now. But only a true hero is worthy of a place in the Hall of Heroes. See the ghostly statue of your fraudster self? When it has turned solid, a true hero you will be. A true hero. We'll be there one day. You can run up here and kick the chalices over. Makes you feel complete. How you doing? Hurrah! I knew it would take more than the army of the evil dead to throw your strides up. I have something that may help you on your quest, Captain. I give it to you freely, though I have no idea what it is. Thank you, I guess. Hey, life bottle. That's cool. I'm gonna buy some more crossbow bolts. And then we exit the Hall of Heroes. Make sure my stream is still up. Don't want anything to get fucked up. Make sure it's all fine. Make sure my mic is still recording. Because, you know, last time... Last time my mic was on mute. <laughs> and it really hurt. Hurt my feelings. So return to the graveyard. You may remember in the graveyard there was a big ass door that we were not able to pass. Now that we have the skull key, we can move past that door. I'm trying to think. Is Return to the Graveyard like I think that's a separate level on itself, so we can still get like a chalice here. Because it's the same area we were at before, but we're here with like a different purpose now. Right? So yeah, and there's new enemies. Yeah, definitely. There's uh, there's also a boss we have to fight here. So, these headless zombie guys, they do damage. They charge towards you, and that's pretty much it. Then once they hit a wall, they're, they're free for the killing. Is he dead? Alright, cool. Uh, don't worry about the mist. The mist is not harmful. These guys are, though. I'm getting a really, like, like, Lego Harry Potter vibe from the music. But then again, Lego Harry Potter just uses the same music from the movie, right? What happened to the other guy? Oh, there he is. Make sure you murder to appease the gods and fill said chalice with the goodness of their souls. Was there anything up here that I missed? Money. Come on, Sir Daniel, you gotta jump. Platforming is not this game's strongest suit. Combat isn't this game's strongest suit either. It's just a fun game to play. You know? Let's see if I can kind of like bottleneck them. Get them to line up and, you know, just basically die for me. Oh, use the life bottle. That's one health bar down. Yeah, these guys do damage. I could use my shield and block it, but I don't have that much faith in the bronze shield. Ah, a silver shield. Now that, I have faith in. Oh, these chests over here, right? So, there's a manual aim mode you can go into. This kind of sucks. But, those chests have a giant blast radius, so you might want to get out the way. They're kind of... I don't think there's ever anything in those chests. I think they're just there to, like, help you get rid of, uh, you know, goons. Make sure you leave no one alive until you get that 100% chalice. Oh, block him. There you go. He still hit me. What a bitch. Damn it. I was hoping to get like a free hit on him. Alright. There's nothing over there. 
we are back in this area in which we can use our skull key. There we go. <coughs> I've got to clear my throat. Jesus. We well, are not used to talking this much. I get like a, like a little bit of spittle in the back of my throat, you know? Use the skull key. Oh no, it's Sir Daniel's worst nightmare. Dogs, and they love bones, so shoot them. Sorry, puppos. All right, once you clear the area. Please have crossbow bolts in here, because I'm using a lot. Nope. Just money. Oh, switch back. This is what I mean by range weaponry is a really good way to deal with things in this game. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. Bad piece of shit. Come here. I'll beat your ass. How dare you. Alright. Over here is a star ruin which we use to go down here and unlock said pathway. Oh, there it is. Boom. So you see how it filled our health bar, but up there on like the third bottle that we have. Oh, this is where the chalice is, by the way. Third bottle we have, it like refilled that. So when you fill your health items, that counted as two hits. That sucks. So when you refill your health past what you have on your health bar, your visible health bar, it goes to uh, your backup health, which is nice. So I think we can make the chalice appear now if we just get rid of these guys over here. Where the fuck did he go? My god, they do so much damage. Don't worry though. Game's not that difficult. We'll get the health back. Um, let's see. Kind of sucks that I don't have a shield. Stay away. Back, you fiends. Head back down there. And our chalice has appeared, so let's go pick it up. Excuse me. Thank you. And the Hall of Hero waits for us. In which, I think this time, we don't get an upgrade or anything. We just get money this time. How the fuck did I do that? Oh, it's jump. You jump, you do a thrust. That's how you do a thrust. I could have sworn you could have done a thrust while on the ground. Oh well. Pick up that money. There's a merchant gargoyle down there. Pick up this. Because we need that. <clears throat> That's one down. Now... You're supposed to take the other stones and, like, um, kind of like, what's what I'm looking for? Platform your way across, or, with the right timing, you can just jump off and make it, right? That reminds me, do I have access to my dash yet? I forgot what gives me access. I think it's at the end of the next boss fight I get access to the dash. The dash is very useful for traversing areas very speedily, because it is a dash in which you move faster than a Sontrally Jock. Uh... Actually, now I will buy some things from the merchant. I'm gonna fill up on my bolts. I'm gonna need it. Because this next boss coming up, it's not the worst boss in the game, but it's just a little time-consuming. Right? In terms of the method to fight it. Uh, over here. This is where we'll find the other rock for the pathway. Oh, we can refill up on our health. Isn't that lovely? Thank you. 
It's not fully full yet, but it's close enough. There's also a nice little health fountain there. So, yeah. So, as one can gather, the reason we're doing this is because Sir Daniel cannot swim. Can you not go through the floor? Can you, can you, am I stuck? Uh, I don't like that. That doesn't make me feel safe. Yeah, but Sir Daniel can't swim. He sinks like a fucking rock in water. And it's an instant death, and it'll just take out a complete health bar. So don't do that. So here... Oh man, two dogs, and I'm made out of bones. So they will circle around you very viciously like. You cannot hit them while they're doing that. You can only hit them when they come to beat you up. And which he will do right now. And I recommend taking your crossbow out and just shooting them. Point in their general direction and shoot. Ouch. And that's how you do the fight. Now, once you get like enough health for one of them down, the other one will just start viciously attacking you. And throughout time, they get more, uh, more comfortable with their little attacks. Like that. I have no shield to protect me. But I have a shit ton of health. They'll try to psych you out, right? But try and, uh, try and shoot them. Because chasing them down to hit them with the sword. Alright, buddy. Okay. You just had a field day there, didn't you? Uh, trying to chase him down with your sword is not advised. So that one is dead. And now this one is just gonna be unrelentless when it attacks. But this is why we have a shit ton of health. And just like that, they're done for. We have our chalice. There's nothing else we need in this area. So, we are gone. All has changed outside the necropolis. Pearls go this way, pearls go that way. Nasty, painful death waits round every turn and over every hill. Bon voyage. Bon voyage, Sir Daniel Fortescue. Off to the Hall of Heroes with us, in which we shall collect some mucho dinero. And I'll take another sip of water. Because my throat is killing me already. Oh, we're, we're like an hour in. Huh, didn't think that would happen. It's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall. Bargain hunters should check out the ground floor. Well-to-do shoppers should check out the upper floor. That's where it's at. Yeah, so basically that's just a nice little hint that's like, listen, once you get enough chalices, you're going to head to the upper floor and you're going to get the real shit. But, since we don't have that many chalices, we'll, uh... Oh, no, we're actually getting a weapon here. I love this guy. He's a nice, hearty fellow, you know? Ah, Fortescue! What's this I hear about that arch-cad Zarok still being alive? Thought you killed the fella! <laughs> Never mind, you old warhorse. Better show him what's what, eh? I expect Johnny Zombie's a bit more of a handful than you remember. How are you doing for weapons? I'm doing shit. Give me your weapon. Here, take my war hammer. It'll smash anything and it won't fall apart like a club. I only ever get to use it cracking walnuts around this place. <laughs> Nonsense, Fortescue. I won't take no for an answer. Knock a few heads for old Stanyer Iron Hewer, eh? And just like that, we get a lovely war hammer. Right? So, just like he said. I think it does a little bit more damage than the club, but it works just like the club, right? But it doesn't it doesn't have a degradation on it. So, with that, we're leaving the Hall of Heroes. And since we got the clubs, like, after we beat the stained glass team, and we actually could have head back to uh, Cemetery Hill and get the chalice for that area. But I want to wait till I get the Warhammer. Not for any particular reason. It just feels more comfortable that way. So, with that said, we're heading back to, um, Cemetery Hill. There we go. And within Cemetery Hill, we will be able... Here you see this nice loading screen. 
But we haven't seen that area in Cemetery Hill yet. Not until now. That's a nice little hint to be like, hey man, you should check the area out. There's some uh, shit you need to go get. And that we do need to get. Because the level we're going to do after this, we need an item in there. So, I'm going to skip that cutscene because we saw it already. Now this time, we actually do need to kill some things. Get that point for that chalice, you know? So, take out your trusty dusty crossbow and start shooting shit. Over here, if I can aim. Nope, there you go. That's a nice free kill. Uh, isn't there another zombie over here? I guess not. So over here, make sure you kill this guy. And you may have noticed, if you checked earlier, there's a nice boulder here. Now, if you had a club, you could smash it, right? Uh, the fire can actually kill you, so don't stand in the fire. And that's all we require from that at this current moment. Also, the club, just to show it off, because we're going to have to do this later. But to show it off now, it works as a torch. That's nice. This game had this before Breath of the Wild. Yes, I went there. Anyways, moving on. Remember our good old loading screen? This is where it's at. <laughs> ah, fresh air. We hate these dark old caves and their filthy stench of old witches. A coven of the warty old hags lived here once. Unholy fires burning all night while they brewed up unspeakable muck in their cauldrons. They moved on years back, but the smell still makes our eyes sting. The smell still makes my eyes sting. The no eyes that I have. Alright. Stop it. I wish I had a shield. I mean, I could have picked up a shield before coming here, if I climbed up the hill. Oh. Seems that I lied. We need the Warhammer again. Or a club. Come on. Bam. Think that's the last time we need it. And then in here, we pick up... Huh. What do I pick up? Oh no. The book, uh, the book tells us about, uh, witch's talismans. So that fire over there works for us to come over here with this. Do that. Then, you want to take out your... Oh, I do have a shield. I have a bronze shield. And you want to take out your shield and maybe your crossbow. Oh, I have my shield dash. Cool. You get that after, uh... I guess you get that after dealing with the dogs. Stop it. Chalice can now be collected. Which is right here. Grab that. Grab your money. Grab the witch's talisman. Don't forget that. Get your health back. Get your health back. And, uh... That's pretty much it for this level. Yeah. That's everything that we need. So we're gonna move on with our merry lives. Where the hell is the exit? There it is. The chalice and the witch's talent was the most important thing that we needed in this level. And just like that, I'm going to start dashing everywhere now. Oh, by the way, the way you dash is you, uh, you take your shield button and you double tap it, right? Also, the momentum's carry with your jump. Don't fall in that lava. That lava is instant death. Uh-oh. Alright, that one psyched me out. I thought the fucking lava rock would come down. Like this one. Nope, that one didn't come down either. Oh. Come on, jump. 
You can also sh uh, also you can also shield. Come on, stop it! You can also shield dash. Let me get another shield. Damn it! You can shield dash without the shield. Why am I having such a hard time doing this? Maybe because I'm just trying to rush it. We have failed the master. Yes, kill yourself. Thank you. <laughs> That's such a such a fucked up thing to say. Free money. Why not? Grab it. And off to the Hall of Heroes with us. Now I think this time we get money instead of uh instead of like a weapon or anything. And I believe the gargoyle just starts repeating himself like it's the Hall of Heroes shopping mall or some shit, right? Nope, he doesn't repeat himself. Cool. Four chalices down. A hell of a lot to go. Some of the other chaps wagered Zarok would be using your ribcage as a toast rack for now. But I knew you'd pull through. Here, I have a little extra something here I can give you. Could help the old quest. You want it? Yes, please. Yes, please, give it to me. Give it to me now. It's money! Ah, yes, it heals all wounds. And it will help me in my quest, because I'm going to buy some more fucking crossbow bolts. Those things are amazing. I can also buy a... Uh, no, not yet. Can't buy them yet. I thought you can buy uh, the shields. Also in the Hall of Heroes, there's a bunch of heroes in there that know the truth of Sir Daniel Fortescue. In which that he is a super coward. So some of them just hate your guts. Because why the rest of them earned their stories and stuff... You just kind of sweet-talked your way into it. So over here, we have Branching Path, we have the Enchanted Earth, and we have the Scarecrow Fields. Doesn't the Scarecrow Fields sound really fun to play? Guess what? They do. But we're not going there just yet. We're going to the Enchanted Earth. Now here, within the Enchanted Earth... This is where I would say you should have went and got your witch talisman. Because this is the first instance of where we get to see witches. Well, at least a witch. But with that said, even though you can do it now, I would advise not doing it yet. Until you get at least one more life bottle. It's like the force from Harry Potter. I forgot what the force is called. I don't know, like the Sleeping Willows or something like that. Something spooky booky and something like that, you know what I mean? So over here we have these frogs, right? Uh, shoot them. Kill them. Because they hurt. I believe they also spit shit at you. Uh, I'm trying to remember. There's a merchant over here. This is one of those areas that we'll definitely come back to. Oh! They blend in. What a bunch of bitches. Alright. Make sure you be careful. Pay attention to your cursor. For things like... Like those. Shooting shit at me. I don't have a shield. If I had a shield, it would be a little bit more tolerable. Damn, you guys do... Annoying, annoying amounts of damage. Stop it. Alright. Over here, we will use our witch's talisman to call the witch. But once you do that, she'll throw you into a different level. So, we're not going to do that just yet. We're just going to make our way through, um... Stop spitting at me, you fucking frogs. We're just going to make our way through the enchanted earth. I'm trying to remember which way to go. It's been a while. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go that way. Anywhere besides there. Stop hurting me. You're hurting my feelings. Oh, over here. We can get... Stop it. We can get ourselves some, some goodies. And by goodies, I mean like... We get a ruin and some money, I believe. And who doesn't like money? Money, 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 money. I like money. 
money's good. <laughs> Turn to Mr. Krabs for a moment. All right. So up here, you don't want to fall off. Deal with these frogs. Annoying ass frogs. Could have sworn there was like something back here. I think it's just frogs. I'm trying to remember if this area has like two chalices because we definitely. Fuck. I wish I had a shield. Do I have a shield? No, I don't. <laughs> um. Definitely try my best not to die here. So up here, you want to work kind of fast because you may have noticed. Nerdist? Uh, you may have noticed giant bird eggs. And where there's giant bird eggs, there's bound to be a giant bird. So you want to push these out of the fuck. You want to push these out of the nest. Come on, why are you making it difficult for me? There, you get some money. That's what we're here for. Wait, no, we're not here for that. We're here for something else. That's what we're here for. And then get the hell out of there. I believe I can shoot while... Oh, try not to jump off. I believe I can shoot... No, you can't shoot while shielding. Maybe that's in the second game. Which I'm pretty sure they won't remake the second game because the second game isn't as good as the first medieval. It's not bad either. It's just uh, not what you want. There's also fall damage, so be careful. If you're not falling into a bottomless pit, you're definitely going to get hurt. This fucking frog is waiting for me. Look at him. Look at him just waiting. He's like, we're waiting for you, Fortescue. Waiting to ruin your day. Yeah, shield, bitch. Is it dead? I think it's dead. It's dead. Okay, cool. I'm going to pick up my health. Cause I'm gonna fucked up out here. Full health? Hey, full health. Over here is money. Gonna pick that up. Oops, can't go that way. Oh, let's move on. Here we go. We use this for over here, I believe, right? this leads. Alright, here's a little thing. It doesn't lead out the level until you see, like, the green mist. So, this is okay. Right? If I can just go, 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 Sir Daniel. I think this is the exit to the level, but I haven't unlocked it yet. Hmm. I don't think I have to help the witch out. Do I? I don't think I have to help out the witch. I think that's a bonus thing to do. Oh! I didn't even see the frog there. Get that fucking leaf out of my face. That's for later, I believe. Where the hell? Hmm. I think I actually do might to help out the witch. I didn't know that, actually. I shouldn't have to help out the witch. Isn't there a fucking... Hold up, I'm gonna look around a little bit more. Yeah, here we go. Uh, alright, so that water, I'm pretty sure will fall through. Pretty sure that's deep water, so be careful. Alright, don't fall in. It'll be a shitty way to go. The shadow demons are entombed within. Separated from the world of goodness and light until the earth cracks open. No one, not even the Dark Lord Zarek, can release them without the Shadow Artifact. Leave now, or share their doom. So we do not have the Shadow Artifact. Just gonna beat the shit out of that thing. I don't like the Enchanted Woods. I just don't like the frogs and the fucking things that spit out at us. So we'll come back there. Level complete. Well, not complete, but level passed. We'll come back there once we... Once we're a little bit more competent, right? Oh. Hmm. I could have sworn that this leads to another thing. Huh. Okay. My bad. 
my bad. I think we actually do have to help out the witch first. So, we're going to Scarecrow Fields. Because fuck that, right? That was a complete waste of time on my part. I don't want to do the, uh, the witch's request yet until we get, like, one more life bottle. Which I think we can get in this level here. Again, it's been a while, right? <laughs> Look at this fucking Jeepers Creepers bullshit. <laughs> So here in the Scarecrow Fields, guess what? They're Scarecrows, and they suck. So, attack them from a distance, because they hurt like hell. And so do the crows. Oh my god. No, you stay away. You stay away. You st stop it. Stop it. Damn it. God, they take so much damage. Yeah, so... Come on, aim at the crows. There you go. Crows? Ugh. Aim at the crows. So, the crows don't count to your... Make sure you get this. Make sure you get them. Make sure you get them. Please get them. Please kill 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 them. He's coming. Please kill him. God damn it. This is where your dash comes in handy. Get the fuck out of dodge. You guys take so many fucking arrows, it's ridiculous. I gotta push something to get over there, don't I? Shit. I gotta push this. Up! Oh! Out of ammo. Yep. That's my life story. Yeah, we're definitely gonna... Gonna have a difficult time here. Definitely push it, sir. Do I gotta go the other way? Fuck. There you go. These guys are endlessly spawning, I believe. Scarecrow fields are not to be trifled with. Hey, Gargoyle Merchant. Talk to me, baby. Hold up, give me a moment. This guy's kicking my ass. I'm trying to... Buy shit. Alright. Cool. Make sure. What? Uh, didn't I just buy ammo? Oh, uh, I bought daggers. Yikes. I'm gonna take my sword out. It's going to be a little bit more trusty here. So over here, if the frame rate doesn't kill me, this guy will. So, it's a nice little, uh, whatchamacallit, imp doing this stuff. So the imp's going to take his time, walk over here to kill us. You just want to go behind the imp, just shoot it. Come on. There you go. Found the moon ruin. In which we will dash over here. Take the moon ruin. And run in here. Bats. I think they can hurt you. So I'm gonna kill them. Earth ruin. Bats are kicking my ass. Ah, uh, yes. Health. Beautiful health. Amidst all the chaos, I feel wonderful now. Alright. So, I'm trying to look out for- did I just get hit by something? Fucking crows. Did a scarecrow spot me? No, I think they were just hanging out. Okay. Try and look for the scarecrows and deal with them as fat- yep, there's one. Over there. Try not to- let the scarecrow see me before I can get some hits on him. All 
Are there two scarecrows now? It's my nightmare. It's my worst nightmare. Back up from me, damn it. Push me all the way over here. Die. Scarecrows are the worst. They're the worst enemies in this game. I'm trying to think if I can even get the, uh, the chalice in this area yet. Fuck it, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna attack him like this. There you go. Pretty sure I can get the chalice. Oh my god, a shield, finally. Thank, thank the gods. Alright. Fight me, fell creature. Oh, he shoots fire now. Nope, that was a stupid idea. Wait for him to get closer. And we're good. Alright. Moving on. Get out my way. Think there's some health over here? Oh, no! Alright. So here, in the nice little fields, you can see something running through. Whatever you do, don't go into the cornfield. It will kill you. Whatever creature is in there will kill you. Now, oh fuck. You gotta move, buddy. You gotta get the hell out of here. I'm trying to get those scarecrows around that corner. Out of ammo. Fuck. Gotta do it the hard way. If you can move, that will be grateful. Take my sword out. Damn it. Hey, scarecrows, over here. Follow me. Follow me. Come on. Now they're gonna try and push me into the fucking... into the cornfield. Oh, awesome. I freed this guy. I forgot his name. But he helps us a lot by just killing things, by running into it. He's our friend. And he does a good amount of damage on them. That's our friend. Totally forgot his name. It starts with an L, I think. Buddy, go get him. Go mess his day up. Because he's about to mess up my day. Scarecrows are the worst. They're the worst. Try and get some health. I'm trying to look around the corners to see if I find any of the scarecrows. Because I don't want to run into one. Alright. Get some health. There's a, there's a nice little healing area over there. I want to get to it. But it's on the other side. What? I'm trying to remember how to get to that. I don't even think I can. Can I? Hmm. I don't remember, actually. What is over here? Progress, I believe. Oh! Excuse me? Money. Pick that up. It's useful. Scarecrow? Scarecrow's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me! Here's a nice little obstacle, obstacle course for us to get through. Maybe I'll come back and murder the Scarecrow if I can. Huh! Oh, shit. Whew! I'm not as good as this game as I remember. 
Oh, man. Maybe I should have done the witch's thing first, huh? Alright. I think that's enough health to deal with that scarecrow. Did it follow me into the fucking... Yeah, it did. Die. Jesus. It's the worst. Whoop. Shit. Alright. I think this one isn't too hard. You just gotta run around. Don't get pushed into there. This one... It's not that hard, just gotta crouch at the right time, right? If I had a shield, I would be crouching. Hmm. Since I don't have a shield, I'm not crouching. Fuck. Oh well. Brute force it. Needed a shield for that, didn't have a shield. I'm just fumbling my way through now. Pumpkin gorge, dead ahead. The nursery to Galomir's favorite side dish. Step inside and understand the true horror of fruit gone bad. A pumpkin is a fruit, huh? That doesn't sound right to me for some reason. It also doesn't sound right to me calling it a vegetable. A pumpkin's a fucking pumpkin, right? Well, I fucked that area up as bad as I can. <laughs> Whew. Alright. We have Pumpkin Gorge. We're definitely gonna have to come back to, uh... Actually, let's try doing the witch's thing right now. But before that, I want to make sure I get some health. So we're heading back to Dan's Crypt. I'm trying to remember what you get from the, uh, from the, uh, whatchamacallit. From the, uh, why can't I remember the, from the witch? I'm trying to remember what you get from the witch, but uh, if my memory serves me correctly, I don't think it's anything crazy good. It's useful, but not like not like uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's useful, but it's not. It's not like a game changer. I guess it's kind of a game changer, depending on how you look at it. Take two more trips to Dan's Crypt. Just want to get my, my health back a little bit. And then after that, gonna run back to the Enchanted Woods. And do the, uh, the witch's bidding. Guess I can pick up some money while I'm here, right? Alright. Grab this. I think that'll be enough help. Enough health to, um. to deal with the witch's stuff. And if I die, then it's gonna be a sad day. Because I'm gonna have to do it all over again. And I am not looking forward to that. So back to the enchanted earth we go.
All right. So right off the bat, why do I have my arm equipped? I don't know why. Oh, I have no more. Um. Damn it. All right. Cool. I take out these daggers. Deal with said frogs. Try and get them out of the way. You know what? Let's just speed through them. Hey, fuck you, bitch. I am a real hero. Just, you know, made the story a little bit better for Hollywood. Forgive me, just an old lady's little joke. In truth, I am glad to see you, Sir Fortescue. I need seven pieces of amber that are hidden in the ant's nest. Bring them to me, and I can grant you a special reward. I will only offer you this quest this once. Are you willing to give it a try? Yes, ma'am. Sorry, didn't I mention I'd have to shrink you to the size of an insect? Now hurry back. <laughs> Alright. So we need to grab some amber for the witch. And in doing so, she'll hand us... She'll hand us an item that will help us. Only this one time. So, in this area, I recommend actually not using your sword and using your hammer. And some, uh, you know, distant weaponry. Where the fuck? There you go. Alright. So that's a fairy. Fairy needs our help. We gotta go look for his friends while we're down here. So not only did we gotta pick up some amber. Here we are. I shall open the entrance for you. These fireflies are my friends. They will light your way through the darkness below. All right, shield, a club. So the reason I say take out your warhammer is because they're bugs, and you want to kill them with your warhammer. So let's get ready to start squishing some bugs. Now, I want it to wait. I wanted to wait to do this because the way these ants fight is they kind of swarm you. But a good charged attack will uh, mostly do them good. And a well placed regular hit will one shot them. At least with the Warhammer. Now, I'm trying to think. Which way is to... Damn it. Seems that, uh... Huh. Using range weaponry? Not good. Alright, cool. Now, I tend to actually get kind of lost in here. Because it's an anthill. And anthills are fucking mazes. There's some ants over there. Alright. Let's 
get our health back. Once we get our health back, we're gonna fucking... I don't know what we're gonna do. Just kill things until... Until I figure out what to do. Still hearing some things. Oh, I thought there was still some alive over there. I don't think the larva does anything. I don't think they turn to ants or anything like that, so... You just kill them. attention so I can get them all at once. Over here. That ant's bugging out. Okay. Yeah, I guess some of the larva has, uh... Oh, they got money. I guess some of them do have, um... What's it called? Amber in them. Wish there was like a map for this. I came this way. I have, right now, only have three of his friends. Do I have three of his friends or two of his friends? I think I have two of his friends. Let me move my, my mic, my microphone. Start to slide down a little bit. Alright, let's see. I was over here. This is where I kind of started at, right? Didn't go this way. This is a dead end. Alright. I do not like doing this level. Oh man. I get lost. That's just a shortcut, I think. Oh, here's a piece of amber. sure I'm not forgetting any of the fairies. I think there might be one this way. This is where I came from. Alright, cool. Ant Hill is not my favorite place. That was a shortcut. This, I did not go over here. I'm not gonna pick up that health unless I need it. been here. Alright. Now I'm just trying to get back to that bigger area I was at. I'm starting to go in circles.
Did I not? Oh, there's a fairy here. Usually when you rescue a fairy, like some ants appear, but I guess not this time. Hmm. Alright, no. Not that way. How the fuck? Is this way? It's this way. Oh man, I'm going in circles. God. That's why I don't like the anthill. And there's no map to help me out. Now, is this me going backwards, or is this me going to where I want to go? I think this is me going backwards. It's me going backwards. I came from here. Is there another pathway? Over here. And then this way. Which leads to a place I have been. <laughs> Welcome to me getting lost in the fucking anthill. Not that way. Alright, well I'm going to start working my way backwards then. Should have made that fucking left turn at Albuquerque. You know what I mean? <sighs> Funny part about this is I'm not even bad at directions. I just really get lo lost in this fucking area. It's just a maze. Everything looks the fucking same. Alright. Alright. Here's where I want to be. This way? Come on guys, jump down. Don't be afraid. Oh, by the way, I'm pretty sure there's no chalice. Oh, here we go. I'm pretty sure there's no chalice in this area, so... Feel free. To just oh no there's a chalice in this area where the fuck is the chalice I guess the chalice is tied to getting the fairies then we got all the amber we need I just need to find that last fairy here it is all right we actually have a nice, uh, a nice amount of health going into, uh, the fight that we have to go into. And we need to buy some crossbow bolts. Because these things are essential. They make them cheap, too. Alright. So, let's not have the dagger. Let's just have the hammer out for now. There's the Ant Queen. Now the Ant Queen, what she's gonna do is call her little drones, right? Her little warrior ants. They're gonna swarm you. And then once you take them out, she's gonna reveal herself, her weak point, and you wanna deal with that.
Just want to fill that of just arrows. And once you had enough, she's going to start trying to bombard you. Well, her little warrior ants are going to come out. Then she's going to send an avalanche on you. I advise that you get the hell out of the way. Now, once these warrior ants come towards you, you can do one of two things. You can either ignore them and keep shooting, which I don't advise. This avalanche does a shit ton of damage. Or you can get rid of them. You, I advise that you get rid of them as fast as you can. Oh, come on. Come on, I killed them. Show your weak point. Now you do kind of want to get rid of the Ant Queen as fast as you can because this fight can become a little bit overwhelming. And that's exactly why I wanted to wait until I get like another health upgrade to deal with it. Alright. But we seem to be doing pretty okay for now. Come on, shoot the arrow. And there it is. Ant Queen is slain. They do have a free bar. So, don't forget your chalice. And on to the Hall of Heroes with you. Bless me. Well, not off to the Hall of Heroes. Lord off to uh, the witch. Hold still, and I'll remove the shrink spell. Can you bring my jaw back? So I can talk? Oh, lovely, lovely Amber. Here you are tonight. A wart covered and cabbage smelling old crone I may be, but I always keep my promises. I grant you my reward. So her reward, which you can only get this once, is um she gives you a chicken leg. And if Castlevania has taught us anything, chicken is delicious. But not only that, you get 30 of them, and when you throw a man an enemy. They instantly turn into a uh, chicken, which you can eat and restore your health with. I was trying to remember what the hell to use against the scarecrows in the um in the scarecrow fields. That's what you use against the scarecrows, because it's pretty much an instant kill that gives you health, right? But you only get a limited amount. With that said, I'm gonna switch that off. And into the Hall of Heroes we are. I believe this is the first hero that doesn't like Sir Daniel. Fortescue, you jawless arrow magnet. What are you doing back here? <laughs> what? Call me Mr. Woden the Mighty. How I pity the people of Galomere that their fate should once again be in the hands of a chump like you. Still... I suppose it's not fair to take it out on them. Take my sword, and do try not to stab yourself in the foot. You know, I've always had my doubts about you, Fortescue. You're just not carved from hero material. He's like, I have my doubts about you, Sir Fortescue. What doubt is there to be had? So here... We get the Enchanted Sword. It's great. It's mighty. It does damage. Also, it has a percentage that will go down for you having it. So that is also the alternative to dealing with those Scarecrows. Right? Um, so, we're not going to have that equipped. Those should only... Those. That should only be used for special occasions. Right? Where the hell is my crossbow? Alright. And onward we go. How much money do we actually have? Oh, we can also, you know, spend a hundred to get our sword to a hundred percent. 
So once you run out of enchantment on that sword, right? Once you run out of percentage, it's not lost to you. You can just, you know, spend money to get it back. Now I believe if it goes fully out, it will cost more. So be careful with that sword. Use it sparingly, like I shall. Let me move my microphone. There we go. To a better position. Alright. So what said enchanted sword in hand? We're going to move on over through the scarecrow fields to the pumpkin gorge. I'm looking at the time right now, and I think I think it might take like two live streams to uh, do this game completely. Especially since I fucked up in in the enchanted woods and took so long to get through the uh, pumpkin, not pumpkin, the scarecrow fields. So over here, you have these pumpkins. You want to shoot them, right? Pumpkins are deadly. Oh come on, arrows! Come on, arrows! Don't get stuck on geometry. Don't do this to me. I believe some of these pumpkins might blow up. I might be thinking of a different game. Over here, you want to get these things out your way. Because this is where we will get our moon ruin. I think these guys blow up once you beat them. Nope. Either that or they like blow up on you. Club. Nice. Warhammer. Better. I'm trying to remember what's down here. Oh, the chalice. Okay. Hmm. Back up I go, then. How do I get back up there? Should be like a... Oh, here we go. It's like a shortcut through the level. Alright. So these pumpkins do blow up. Yep. Alright, just like that. Just want to make sure. Hmm. Guess I'll need the, uh... Warhammer equipped. I should probably start using the Warhammer more. That's where I came from. Just making sure. Gotta make sure you kill uh, whatever enemies to get that chalice per uh, that chalice percentage. <clears throat> Gotta clear my throat again. I'm fucking. I'm dying over here. Damn it. Oh come on! I ran out of charge on that. Really? here. Wrong way. Gotta run this way. Alright. Moving on.
trying to make sure I don't get fucking blown up over here. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Let us move on. Up here, I think I... Nope, I need a ruin for that. Okay, these things balance out, I think. Do they? Oh no, they just rise and fall. Could have sworn they like, do like a whole balancing act thing. Oh, come on. Guess I can't do the hammer charged attack after dashing. There's a plane currently flying over my house. Alright. Get rid of these pumpkins and up here. And a star ruin. Shield. Shield. seem to be doing well so far. I haven't had a game over yet. That's a good thing. Mmm! Spoke too soon! <laughs> it's not a game over, but that sure as fuck is a lot of health. Good thing we have the handy dandy fountain over here. The fucking fountain of youth. Make me feel good. It's not full health, but it's health. Alright, Sir Daniel, don't fuck up your jump this time. There we go. Alright. Alright, now that that's over with, thank you. Here you go. Moving on. We're so close to that chalice. I can almost drink out of it. One more, one more fresh kill. Now we can go get that chalice, which is all the way back there. I'm trying to remember if there's like a shortcut to it or something. There might be. Come on. I don't think there's a shortcut to it. 
I think I gotta go the long way. Shouldn't be too difficult though. Just drop down. Yep. Over here. Just gotta make a mad dash all the way back. Out of my way. And the chalice is over here. Pick it up. And the Hall of Heroes awaits us, as always. I think I'm going to get a health upgrade this time. further, Sir Daniel. Just a little further. Alright. Let's not fuck this up. Alright. And like that. This area should be finished. I don't think there's anything else left. Yep. Onward to the Hall of Heroes. Let me reposition myself in my chair. Take a sip of water. Get some, uh, some of my energy back. My throat is is killing the hell out of me. Allies in the hall of the heroes is the way forward. Hack, choppity chop, off with a few zombies' heads, and it thinks it can redeem itself in battle. You still have a long way to go to rank as the best. Fuck you. How dare you? How dare you talk to me like that? Give me money or a life bottle. Give me something. I'm trying to see if there's a two-way split here. Oh, he's the last guy until we get up here, which we can't go yet. But up there is where it's at. By God, Fortescue, you must be the luckiest corpse ever to walk the face of the earth. I have something here I can lend to you. Take it or leave it. But remember, I'm only doing this for the sake of Galomir's doomed population, and not for you, you gangly buffoon! Thank you for the money, I guess. It's better than nothing. Would've liked a health upgrade, though. Leave the Hall of Heroes? Yes. Alright, over here, we have the Pumpkin Servant. The root of all pumpkin evil. Squash the squash and rid Galamir of this seedy menace once and for all. Alright, take out her hammer. Trustworthy. So we're gonna have to come back here at some point. Because we need another. If I can just kill that thing. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. There you go. We need another. Which fuck? Leave me alone, damn it. Can't you see I'm trying to save the world?
Because we need another witch's talisman. I don't think we can use the same one. Can we? Oh, we can. Greetings, kind sir. I am the pumpkin witch. I'm like a mother to those pumpkins. I give them all the love and care a young fruit could ever ask for. From the moment they first push a shoot above the soil, right up until their heads are cut off and eaten. And look, see how they repay me, running around and causing mischief. That nasty old big pumpkin has a bad influence on the young seedlings. If you teach him a lesson in manners, I might give you a nice present. God, that lady is ugly as all hell. I am the pumpkin witch. I'm like a mother to them. You sure you're not their mother? You look pretty much like their mother. Alright, so over here, you may notice this giant pumpkin. If we get too close, its little tendrils are going to start beating the shit out of us. So, what you need to do is you need to, first of all, you need to get rid of these little, uh, these little pods over here. One of them, I just destroyed one of them. But you need to get rid of those in a timely manner in order to awaken which is essentially the pumpkin king right let's get some health back oh is this a shield it's a shield i already have a shield pumpkins that thing has such a huge fucking blast radius it's ridiculous one pod remaining and there we go oh come on these guys are killing me Literally. Chalice can now be collected. Which I'm actually trying to remember where the fuck the chalice is at. Oh, it's in here. Whoop. Gotta get rid of these tendrils. Oh, actually, I think the pumpkin uh, witch gets rid of them for us. If memory serves me correctly, which it probably doesn't. Get rid of this pumpkin. Where's the last pot at? Also, I'm gonna take that. Where is the last pod? Is it over here? Yes, it is. So remember when I said save some of that in Enchanted Sword for, uh... For special occasions? Well, this is definitely... A special occasion. You fucking pumpkin, how dare you. I'm trying to remember. I think I gotta get rid of its tendrils. There you go. Alright. Okay, so it's in phases. I thought it had like one, one big health bar. Oh my god. Ugh. My throat just feels terrible. This is what happens. This is what happens every time I stream for prolonged periods of time. It's just bad, man. It's just bad. So, now... Make sure you get rid of these as fast as you can. And I was not paying attention, so I don't know which ones came back and which ones didn't. Not that one over there. Think this one over here, maybe? No. Is it one of it? One of the ones that is near it? Alright. 
God, nothing is more terrible looking than fucking rotting pumpkins. Ugh. Alright. Oh! Huh, I guess I forgot. You get to keep the sword. So you can enchant it, and you keep the broadsword. Oh, okay. Where the fuck? It's over here, right? Hmm. I honestly didn't remember that, because I remember there was a permanent enchanted sword you get. Out of my way, damn it. I'm here to kill the pumpkin. Sir Daniel, why are you running the other way? Now, I could be doing this a smarter way, but I'd rather not. Here we go. Come on. Alright. Alright. And the pumpkin has been destroyed. That looks nasty. Nothing smells worse than, like, fucking rotting pumpkin. It smells like shit. But hey, we saved Galamir from its national fruit. And with that, we can also go collect the, uh, chalice. But first... I want to get my damn health back. There we go. Alright, Pumpkin Witch. Own up to your promise, damn it. A most edifying spectacle, sir. Man and vegetable in a magnificent duel to the death. Oh, I've come over all of a doodah. Here, have this lovely dragon gem as your reward. Oh, lovely majestic creatures dragons are. Eh, yeah, whatever. Dragon gem. We don't really need that, but we need it. Alright, down here, you collect said chalice. Here's a merchant gargoyle. Eh, it's not worth enchanting the sword. I will buy some crossbow bolts, however. And then we head on, head on out of this area, back to the Hall of Heroes. Alright, here in the Hall of Heroes, we can now head on upstairs. We have a choice. Either get what she's got. This is what we want. Oh, we want this so bad. Is she the only choice for us right now? No. Here we go. This is what I really want right now. Because you can either get uh, her javelins or his bow and arrow, which I really want. I, Ravenhoofs, last prince of the centaurs, have not galloped the earth in over 10,000 years. Do yourself a favor, Fortescue. Take my longbow. More powerful than crossbow. You hear that, Candy Tim? Fuck you! I got a longbow now. It is a weapon of a nobleman. Congratulations! You don't quite have my breeding, Mr. Johnny come lately. But there's help for you yet. Whew. With that, we got the longbow. 
Way better than the crossbow. Way, way better. Next time we'll pick up her javelins, which I think I can actually... I think we can actually head back to the scarecrow fields and get the chalice there. Because I don't think there's anything stopping us there. It's just that I knew if I st stayed there too long, I was probably going to die. And I'd rather not get the game over. But now that we have our broadsword, uh, some pocket insta-kills, right? We can get the chalice in this area with, with a good amount of, uh, ease. I think by the end of this, we should have, like, nine life bottles. Alright. It's right off the bat. Take out my sword, because we're going to have to deal with this scarecrow. Alright, see? That's easier than before. Alright. Scarecrow, you mean nothing to me. Now these ravens, however, pissing me off. There you go. Where's the other one? Did it just fly away? Yeah, you better fucking fly away. Look how much of a better time we're having here. Isn't this lovely? It's amazing. Getting stuck on some of the walls around here, though. I don't know why I ran out to go kill him. I don't know what came over me. I just saw an opportunity of murder and I took it. Alright. Grab the key in here. Excuse me, bats. Coming through. Oh. Got stuck on the chest. There we go. Get a club. Alright. Get some of this health back. You're nothing to me, Scarecrow. Hear that? Nothing. Silver shield. Nice. Alright. Longbow is so useful. I love this damn thing. Alright. Such an easier time. With all my upgrades, I feel invincible. There we go. Where is Scarecrow? Oh. 
You know what? There's two of them over there. I can just do this. There you go. Tormented chicken. Delicious, delicious chicken. How I love thee. Get the hell out of my face, you crow. Alright. And here. What do I do? I'm trying to remember. Push this. First of all, I gotta kill these fucking bats. They're in my way. Stop it. Yeah. I didn't need to see the bat's blood spew everywhere. It's kind of graphic, don't you think, game? S stop it. Come here. Come here, you fucking bat. There we go. Copper shield. Gonna turn this on. How do I turn this on? Totally forgot how to turn this damn thing on. I think I need something for it, like a battery or some shit. Read the book. He's getting stuck on the damn book. The thing is in my way, I can't read the book. Are you kidding me? Alright. Hmm. I think I need something for it. I think I'd go pick something up. Kalkatura, the serpent lord, yearns to fight alongside you, but has been captured by Zarok and sealed within a chest. Free this mighty spirit and earn a powerful hmm. ally. That's what he's called. Kalkatura, the serpent lord. Lord. I shall free him. Fight with me, my friend. And we shall be... We shall... We shall cover ourselves in glorious amounts of blood. Do I unlock that thing? Cause I know you unleash it and it um and it goes straight over there and it cuts a pathway. I'm just trying to remember how. How? How how do I get this thing to turn on? I think I need like a key or something. I can't remember it. I honestly can't remember it off the top of my head. And it's really bothering me. I think this is just a book that tells me that there's stuff in the Death waits in the cornfield. Yeah, don't go in the cornfield. Oh, you get an entry for that. I thought to get the entry, you have to, like, die by it. Hmm. You know what? Because I don't want to come back here, I think what I'm going to do which I probably shouldn't do it, but I'm going to do it, is look up what the hell it is I need to get for that area, because I can't remember. I can't remember it off the top of my head. I need to get a cog.
All right, it's at the end of the stage, apparently. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I have no idea why I couldn't remember that. Oops. Didn't even see the scarecrow there. Chalice can now be collected. Get some health back. There we go. Moving on. Oops, wrong way. See, this is where you use your shield and duck under this shit. But last time I didn't have a shield. Go, Fortescue. So I just left this area early. I'm just going to mad dash to this one. Here it is. Pick this up. And then we got to go all the way back. Get some health. Yep, that was just a free... That was a fucking freebie. Alright. Which way is it? Here we go. I think this is where we go to get the chalice, too. Alright. Yep. There's our chalice. Try not to kill myself on this. Get a life bottle. So I knew we were missing a life bottle. I was like, where the hell do I go for that? Alright, cool. Off to the Hall of Heroes with us, and this is where you would go to fill said life bottle. Alright. Like, I was so nervous because I was like, where the fuck is the life bottles at? I should have, like, gotten an extra one by now. Oh, I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Oh. I thought I used that up, but I guess I didn't. Up! Oh! Yep. I felt that one. I felt that one. That one was my fault. I'll take all the blame for that. That... Got a lot of life out of that one. <clears throat> a lot of health out of that fountain. Alright, cool. To the Hall of Heroes. <laughs> graceful. That was nothing but pure gracefulness. Like a fucking... like a swan. Oh, I gotta move my chair. I just hit my microphone. Sitting in this chair for a long period of time is not my style. Fuck you, Candy Tim. I got a goddamn longbow. I feel strong. I feel big and strong. I've seen you giving me the eye. You may be weak and feeble like old men, but I like you, Daniel. <laughs> now listen up. Your bow and arrows are fine for itty bitty jobs, but if you want to pack some serious heat, you should take this spear. <laughs> So the spear is actually stronger than the bow and arrow, but you only get 30 of them. So use those sparingly, right? I'm pretty sure you can refill up on the spear. 
I try not to use it though. Also, it's not as long ranged as the bow and arrow, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah. I'm gonna buy some, uh, some arrows. Alright. Cool. Onward. To wherever the fuck we have to go to next. I don't remember. It all becomes a blur to me. What I remember is the beginning part of the game, the pumpkin fields, uh, the battlefield, uh, the maze, I do remember the maze, and then after that it's all a blur. Then I remember a pirate ship and a fucking, and then we head into the, into the, you know, the, t spoiler, spoiler, time machine. Uh, the Sleeping Village. Oh, I remember Sleeping Village. Alright, so Sleeping Village is a different area in the game, right? <clears throat> Remember in the beginning of the game where you saw villagers get turned? Well, since we are the Brave Warrior, Sir Daniel Fortescue, our job is to protect the people of Galamir. Which means, even the villagers that have been possessed. Now these villagers are going to try to attack us. This, the way the chalice in this level works, is you are not allowed to kill any of the villagers at all. Don't kill the villagers, because then your chalice percentage will actually go down. So the villagers are not our enemy. You see that we start off with 61%. You do not want to kill the villagers. Just, just don't even press your sword button. The gargoyle, I believe he gives you the tip there too. It mustn't hurt them. Hurt guards, though. They seek out an object of great power. Alright. And it gives you a free entry because you're not allowed to hit the villagers. So don't hit the villagers. Don't kill them. Just stay out their way. And they will try their best to murder you. You can, however, if I remember correctly, you can shield bash them to push them out the way and stun them. But do not hurt them. Now, in this book, this level, the way it works, it's, it's kind of like a big item quest. So you're going to be going around um, through these stores and stuff, picking up items. Excuse me, lady. Bye. I'm trying to remember what order to go in. What's over here? Nothing. It's just a vial. Okay. We just ran in there. Here we go. Over here, we're gonna need to get this guy's attention. Can we actually push the barrels? Oh, we can. Great. Get that. Ignore these people. Now, there is money inside the barrels. You can destroy the barrels, but I'm not going to do that. When I'm near them... Um, <clears throat> not clear my throat. When I'm near the villagers, because I don't want to hurt them. Alright. Here's a club. I need a... Thingy thing. Excuse me? Coming through? Oh, damn it. Excuse me, coming through. Just use your shield bash to get past them. It also moves them out of your way. Alright. Now we head back upstairs, pick up whatever the hell just dropped down. Ah, yes, the bus. The mayor's bust. Landlord's bus. Whatever the fuck, you know. You know what I mean. And then we head... Oh, no, we don't head out that way. Go over here. Come on, Sir Daniel. Go through the doorways. It's a good thing that they're possessed, though. I'm pretty sure it would do a lot of traumatic things to them if they saw a walking skeleton in armor come through. And they were, like, coherent of that. Also, these are guards. 
Yes, they are Russian. They're Russian because, well, I guess. So, you want to protect the village people, right? Make sure no unnecessary harm come to them. And to get the rest of your chalice, chalice uh, percentage, <clears throat> you want to just get those guys out the way. Um, what am I? Oh, shit. You stop it. I'm trying to think. There should be a blacksmith area over there. Is that the place with the, um... Did I go in here? I think I went in here. I'm pretty... Yeah, I did go in here. Where is... This is the church. The blacksmith has the ruin thing in front of it, doesn't it? No, that is the library. Where the fuck is the blacksmith? It's not over here. Where's the blacksmith's place? That's just the villager's house. Ooh. I thought I saw something over here. This is the church. Oh, here's the blacksmith. There we go. We need to take... Is this a shield? Yeah. Alright. Read a book. No. Where the fuck do I put the damn thing at? I have the bust. Do I need something? Guess I need something else, huh? I think I need a... Huh. Let's head to the church. I might need something in the church. Crucifix once stood here, but yeah, I need a crucifix, and I would use the bus to make the crucifix. I guess I need a mold. Guess I'm looking for a mold, which would be in the library, maybe. Hmm. I'm trying to fucking remember. Oh, this guy over here. Make sure you get him away from the fucking. Uh, get him away from the goddamn lake. Because he will kill himself going after you. And you don't want that to happen. Isn't there something over here that I have to do? Huh. I'm having such a like... Where did he go? Did he kill himself? Oh my god, where'd he go? Did he actually kill himself? Uh, I don't know where that guy went. Maybe he's... Oh, he's in the village. Okay, that's a safer place for him. Not for me, but for him. Alright, well... Shit. Oh. Excuse me, sir. I need you out of here, right? So you don't hurt yourself. I was so confused. Completely forgot about that. Alright, now we can head to the library. Move. Alright, cool. Oh shit. So in here in the library, you can read these books and it tells you about the uh, story, or the fake story, of Sir Daniel Fortescue. Oh my god. No. Stop. And then, come on, stop it. And it'll also give you some lore about, um, Galamir, 
and Zorok and stuff like that. But we don't need that. I pretty much explained most of the story imp important things. Why the fuck did I run to the church? Blacksmith. We gotta head to the blacksmith. Because now we have the mold for the crucifix. Alright. Here we go. First things first. Do nothing here. What do you mean do nothing here? I guess I gotta put the mold in first. I thought I would melt it first. And, well, I can't melt it unless I have the mold. Alright. There we go. Crucifix. Thank you. Alright, now we head to the church. I mean, since Sir Daniel was brought back by necromancy, you would think him walking... You would think, like, for him to walk to a church, he'll be, like, just burning away. There we go. Secret passageway. You get a key. A secret key. And here you would learn that the mayor has the secret... The book will just basically tell you the mayor of the town. Um... Kept this sea keep, keep it over here because in his home he has the the shadow artifact that would release the demons, and uh, from the doorway that's inside the enchanted, the enchanted um what you call it, the enchanted earth. Like remember that doorway we went to, where the gargoyle was like, for all who come here fear the demons. Yes, stay away, or the demons shall touch you wrongfully. Right. Where the fuck? I'm lost. <laughs> Where the hell is the lake at? It's not that way. Then it's this way. Alright, cool. I could have sworn there's something over here. I think there's like a trophy over here. I think uh, it's after you do something. There's like a little fishing minigame over here. Or something like that. That unlocks. Alright. Alright. Now that we're free of the villagers, time to start murdering damn things. Villagers are completely safe. Now, where the hell is the last guard at? I think he's inside the building, maybe. trying to think if there's anything that I need to do. There's chalice over there. I don't want to, like, jump over the gate, which I probably... Oh. I don't know why I jumped down. I just got excited. Chalice's not even, like, there for me. But money. Hey, look at that. And health. Alright. So. Here we go. Jump on in through the chimney to the mayor's house. And here we use the mayor's key to grab the shadow artifact. Thank you. But sadly, the mayor is nowhere to be found. Now you may ask yourself, well, wouldn't the mayor too be, um, possessed by the evil magic? Where the fuck is the exit? Oh, here it is. It's blocked by the fucking health bar. Oh, man. That was not me. Yeah, sometimes in this game, Sir Daniel just controls himself a little bit and just... You lose control of him. I don't know why it does that. It's like a bug. I guess they never fixed it in the remake. But yeah, you just lose control of Sir Daniel sometimes. Alright. Oh, come on. It got rid of my charge. Yes, sir, Daniel. Don't get shot. Defend yourself. With a sword and shield against guns. Alright, cool. Now make sure you run back. Because you don't want... You don't want to... Uh, move! You don't want to... um. You don't want to leave the area without grabbing the, uh... Oh, wait, hold up. This is Mayor's house. 
without grabbing your chalice. And with that, we have access to the Hall of Heroes. We have everything we need, the Shadow Artifact, everything. What does this say? I think this is some Zarg shit. Capture that greedy profiteer, the town mayor. Take him to the asylum dungeons. Give the fat boy a good going over. Locate the Shadow Artifact. Bring me back something nice. All right. Yeah, so those are uh, Xerox instructions to the guards. They're like, go get the mayor, bring him here. He knows where the Shadow Artifact is. Yeah. So like I was saying, you may wonder, how come the mayor isn't affected by the ooky booky spooky magic, right? Well, the answer is, fuck you, that's why. Don't, don't ask questions that you're not ready for answers for, you know? <laughs> but yeah. The mayor's not affected by it. Oh, go fuck yourself. Alright. Back to upstairs where we go. Give me something nice. We can get upgraded to the gold shield. Right? Or we can get something from Centaur Man. I think it's like a health thing. His axe. I'm trying to think what his axe does. I think it's just a stronger version of the Warhammer. But no, we have to wait for this. We have to wait for for that beautiful, beautiful sword. <laughs> Makes me feel sad. And they make you wait like a good while to get that. So I think I'm going to go for the shield, even though I don't use it. Should I go for the shield? Yeah, I'm going to go for shield. Ah, Herr Fortescue. You are back on the battlefield, yeah? This is good. People say to me, Sturngaard. What do you think of this sword or that axe? But I say to them, NINE! Modern warfare is a question of science! The science of shields! <laughs> I think maybe you should take my shield, yeah? It is magic here for this cure. Some say it is better to have a magic sword than a magic shield, but I said to use it, this is rubbish! Fucking love this guy. So long as you use it properly, the shield will make you invincible! As long as I use it properly, it will make me invincible. And by that, the shield has durability on it. Not only that, but I'm never going to use the shield properly. They'll say maybe you use a sword or an axe. I say no! <laughs> I want the sword so bad. God, I just want the sword so bad. It's so good. It's such a such a good weapon. It just makes easy work of everything. Alright. So who's ready to unleash some fucking demons? Crank up the Papa Roach. <laughs> Alright. So, we can either unleash some demons, or... We can go through the asylum grounds. We're gonna go unleash those fucking demons. Actually, you know what? We're gonna wait for the demons. The reason I say that is because what comes up after the demons is probably one of the most annoying fucking boss fights in the game, period. So let's head to the asylum grounds. I'm just trying to think if there's anything that I'm missing inherently that would, like, ruin... that would ruin the... my chances for these levels. So the Asylum Grounds is like a maze of wisdom, right? You dare challenge Jack Green for someone without skin. You've got a lot of nerve. How am I moving without a nervous system? I don't know. God, I gotta move in this chair. Ah, oh, it's killing me. All right, here in the asylum grounds, the grounds that lead to the asylum, we are now in a maze, a maze of wisdom, in which we must surpass the guardian. 
and these weird like hedge dragon things that look kind of goofy but yet adorable. Sir Daniel, why are you, why are you like, how's he doing the stab move? How's he doing that? Is it like a forward thing? Is it like a timed attack? How's he doing that? He's just doing it whenever he feels like it. Riddles, and this maze is my domain. You are free to leave, but only once you've answered four riddles. Puzzles so fiendishly difficult, so perplexingly complex, that no man has ever solved them. Ha ha ha. Now, try my phone. <laughs> I like his laugh. At night they come without being fetched. By day they are lost without being stolen. All right. Find the answer to Jack Green's riddle, which his riddles aren't that difficult, but hey, guess what? It's a star. Four remain. We gotta go find four stars. Alright. If I remember correctly, the stars shouldn't be that far away. I think there's actually one around him. No. There's not. There's a camel. Here's the maze. The hedge maze. Which is not... Which is less of a maze than the ant hill. Right? It's not that bad of a maze. Can you die? You take a lot of damage. Oh, shit. You snuck up on me. What are you running for? Leading me to a trap? Yup, he led me to a trap. I can use some health. Here. Stop it. Huh. That should have turned him into a chicken. I'm shooting like past him. Mmm. Chicken. It's delicious. Alright, there we go. Is there a star in here? No, but there are some graves with money. That leads to nowhere. That leads to nothing. Alright. I think I can open this with the Warhammer. Hold up. No, actually, I can't open that with the Warhammer. Huh. Oh. Fucking Zurok thing stabbed me. Huh. I guess I come back later for that. Alright. There. Where the fuck is that last star at? Should be over here somewhere. Is there, like, another turn I can take? Hmm. I don't remember what the bell does. I'm pretty sure it opens, like, a pathway or something. Alright, well, I think the star might be back here, actually. I might have just missed it. No. Hmm. Well, this is... Interesting. Oh, where the hell is the star? I'm missing a fucking star. There was a star over here. I got rid of it. Has to do something with. Oh, here it is. Well done, sir. But my star riddle was but a trifle. 
I always like to begin with an easy one. Return hither. You will not find my next conundrum so simple. Alright, next riddle, buddy. I live for the crowd. Without it, I am nothing. Alright. I would assume the answer to that is a clown. I don't think this is it, though. Alright, cool. We need to head back into the maze. Ring that bell. You can ring my bell. Remember that, guys? Of course you don't. You're too young. That should open a pathway, right? Excuse me, sir. Give me a moment. Wait your fucking turn. Wait your turn. Then you, too, can have a badass shield like me. Thank you. Alright, so basically, here's a clown. I forgot which order this goes in, but we basically gotta hit these guys. And make them all laugh at him. Oh, that was easier than no. That was not easy at all. Alright, well, I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait for it to come back. So that one takes the longest. This one takes the second longest, it seems. That one's the shortest. Alright. No one else is going to turn back. Okay. Oh, you're the worst. You're the worst. You're the worst. Alright. Well, shit. I'm gonna get them to... Oh. I'm gonna get them to turn. At least once. Alright. Come on, man. You're the worst. You're the worst. You're ruining it. Damn it. People are the worst. Damn it. Alright, well, shit. You go there. Is he turning to smile? No, yeah, he's turning to smile. Alright. So you're definitely the last. So it should go... Oh, didn't mean to hit you. Fuck. He ruined it. Go ahead. Turn back, jackass. Oh, does it only turn when I hit other things? Alright, hold up. I'm gonna... You first. Then you. Then you. No, oh, come on. Then you. Then you. Good job. Yes, it was a clock. Very clever, I'm sure. Return in haste, Sir Knight, for I wish to see the despair on your face when you hear my next cryptic puzzle. Alright. Onward back to Jack Green. What a fucking loser. Him and his fucking loser ass riddles. I fought the Riddler a multiple times. And you're not even half of what he was. Like the sea, a great beast I be, yet vermin frighten me. Oh man, that sounds crazy. I'm gonna head over here. Hey look, it's a cat. I wonder what I'm gonna do with this cat. So, we get a... a ruin thing needed. Hmm... Where do I go for said ruin? First of all, you get out my way. Alright, cool. All these cats. Hey, look, an elephant! 
I wonder what the answer to the riddle is. Oh, that's where the chalice is at. Alright. I think I gotta head back to the maze to go get the, uh... The ruin? The ruin, um... The, not the ruin. The, uh, chaos ruin? There we go. I think I hit this way. No. Where the hell... No, not that way. Through here. How dare you, sir. How dare you. Very rude. Alright. Over here. Get rid of these weird tendril things. Doesn't this lead to somewhere? Pretty sure it does. Alright, now with the Chaos Rune, we can go... Ah, oh, come on. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. Then we can go grab that Chalice. Alright. We can now... Get this wonderful, helpful, where it's at, where is it, where the hell is the thing at? Did, is it on? Oh, here it is, this rat. So this rat's gonna be our friend. We gotta help Stort Little get past all these cats. Now, the cats themselves aren't that hard to get past, it's just kind of a waiting game. Come on, come on Stort Little. Uh-oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yep. Let's pretend we didn't hear that or see that or... Or anything, you know what I mean? Come here, rat. I did not see that cat there. Alright. This should be good. Come on, buddy. You look the other way. This way, this way, this way, this cat is overstepping its bounds. Alright, cool. Did you spot my bluff? I pretended that riddle was hard, but in truth it was obviously an elephant. This time, however, I almost pity you. The answer to my next vexing enigma has eluded the finest minds of a whole generation. Come to me. Okay. I tolerate the moon and stars. I can't abide the sun. Banish me with torchlight and you'll see me turn and run. Alright, that's cool. Head over here. Through here again. Is it down here? Can we go down here yet? No. Which way is it? I think that's the way we return. Is it over here? This way. Nope. Huh. I actually don't remember which direction it is. Maybe it's this way. Hmm. Where is it? Where do I go? Like a new doorway should have opened up over here. Is that thing still attacking me? Where the hell is my bow and arrow? How dare you.
No. How the fuck? Over there. That's open. How the hell do I get over there? That I don't remember. I guess there's another entrance near the elephant? Let me see. No, there's not. Where the fuck do I go? Oh, yeah, there is. Here we are. Leading me into a trap, I see, huh? Ooh, I'm on my last life bottle. Yikes. I've been a little bit too reckless. Oh, come on, that's unfair. It's stuck in the corner. Come here. Here we go. That was reckless of me. Very, very reckless. Me reckless? No, I've never done anything so reckless. This way. That thing is shooting me. Here. We need to push these blocks. Sir Daniel's controlling himself again. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Need to push these. Push the fire into place. Can I push it closer? I think I can push it closer. Yeah, I can. Okay, there you go. Sir Daniel, stop controlling yourself. Oh my god, I'm... I, come on, Sir Daniel, stop it. I don't know why it's acting goofy. Alright. One more, which is over here. All right. I give up. That's the most beautiful words ever created. You think you're so clever, don't you? Here I am clever. clever I grant you free passage through my maze. Find your own way out. All right. I'll do that, Sir Daniel. Dan Sir Daniel, you're my friend, but you gotta stop controlling yourself. I'm trying to help you save the world. <laughs> Alright. Over here is the way out. Bam. I just don't remember how to get over there. I think I gotta go through here again. I think a new passageway opens. 
right? Yep. All right. Hey, stop moving. Stop it. How do I move them? Do I just thwack them? Yes, I do. So this one only moves uh, cardinal directions. So let's get the... Uh, what is this, the rook? I think that's the rook. I don't play chess, so I don't know. This is the bishop. This one only moves diagonal. C can, you, can you move? Thank you. Move, damn it. This is the queen. She can go anywhere she pleases. Is this the queen? I think this is the queen, and the other one's the king. Or is this the king, and the other one's the queen? No, no, this is the, uh... Huh, what is this one? Oh, that one's the queen, I guess. I guess that one's the king. I don't know, I don't play chess. All right. And just like that, we have a way out. Make sure you don't forget your chalice, which we have. And we're gone. Uh, and we're gone. Uh, and we're gone. Um, and we're gone? Oh, there we go. To the Hall of Heroes with us. Alright. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Back upstairs in the Hall of Heroes. We are going to grab ourselves a lovely, lovely, lovely health upgrade. Maybe. Oh, Danielle! Oh! Flaming arrows! Thank you! Is this permanently enchanted, or...? Oh, no. Okay. They're separate arrows. Cool, cool. Why, thank you, Prince of the Centaurs. Almost halfway there. With the chalices. I think there's 24 in total. I believe there's 24 in total. Tortle? I believe there's 24 in total anyways. I think... I'll continue this for a little bit more. And then I'll end the stream. So, over here is the asylum. Let's deal with that. I would try and stream the full game. I thought I could. Probably if I didn't fuck up, we'd be way further. I didn't fuck up with those two levels. We'd probably be way further by now, but... Oh my god, this chair is like... It's fine, but sitting in this chair for a prolonged period of time, it's not, a. Uh, it's not doing me any favors. So here in the Asylum, it's nothing important, like, too important. It's just a battle gauntlet. <clears throat> Just a big old gauntlet. Come on. Oh my god. There's so many. That's one life bottle. Woo! Shouldn't be too hard to get the chalice over here.
try my best not to die out here. Because I gotta get fairly close to these guys. Oh, there's so many of you. Doing pretty good so far. Whew, and I'm out of here. Bats. So the bats are like a an easier round. Right? I say it's an easier round as I get knocked around. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, these guys. They're gonna do a shit ton of damage if they hit me. Good thing they fall if they miss. I'm gonna stop trying to charge up with these guys and just get them. Oh, please just give me some health. That's all I asked for. Oh, the psychos are here. They are pretty fast. Where the hell are the zombies? Oh, that's it for this area? Cool. I suppose you don't have any health for me. I will enchant my sword, however. Nope, wrong way. Where the hell is the door? Over here. Alright. Almost there with the chalice, and the chalice is full. All right, and I'm out of here. Woo! Make sure you grab your chalice. I believe the mayor is over here. Yes, he is. to force me to hand over the shadow artifact. He means to release the demons from their tomb under the enchanted forest. But I said to him, I said, You can't touch me, you lanky windbag. I'm the mer. Aye, that told him. But then he had me locked up in here with all these nutters. Oh, it's been terrible. I haven't managed to get a word of sense out of anyone in weeks. Right. Well, I'll see myself out, thanks. You have a good look around, lad. Zarax left some stuff lying about that I think you might find useful. 
So this is a real funny conversation. If you went to the enchanted uh, Earth first and freed the uh, the um, demons, because because he's just saying all that stuff, and Sir Daniel's just like, oh, uh, uh, okay. I most definitely didn't free them. Let's get my health back. Uh, not full, but that'll do. Hall of Heroes. We're becoming quite the regular here. Alright, here in the Hall of Heroes. Let's keep on moving. Back upstairs with us. We got flame arrows last time. We now have to go grab that axe, which I'm trying to remember if the axe is useful or not. I don't hey, think it is. Mr. Fortisque, I want to talk with you. If this Zorak so bad, why'd you get to go back? Why'd you of all people, Fortisque? He should be I, blood monather, skull cleaver, when I live. Always I had a pile of slainers strewn around me. You, you spend most of your time organizing and changing of the guard and playing croquet with the king. Hey man, me and the king was great buddies. You a swinker, you a throwher. She thirsts for a slaughter as much as I. This guy doesn't really seem like a hero. He just seems like an anarchist more than a hero. God, I want this sword so bad. Yeah, but the axe kind of sucks. It's stronger than... I believe it's stronger than the war hammer, but short range is not useful. And throwing it... It seems like it would be useful, but it really isn't. It leaves you open for a pretty long while. Right? Especially when everything's mobbing you. But... It's cool, right? Back to the broadsword, though. So, let's see. Onward to our next area. Let's see. Oh, no, that's it. That's it there. Now we just gotta head to the enchanted, uh, earth. Free some fucking demons. We might actually beat the game tonight. Depending on how I feel. I'm gonna have to take, like, at least, like, a, like a two-minute break. Because this chair is fucking killing me. But we are making good progress. Don't need to watch that cutscene. It's the same one that we've seen before. One shot for these frogs, though. That's good. Alright. Where do I go? How many shots does that take? Four shots? Four shots. Alright. Cool. Open up. Oh, I don't have the earth ruin. I gotta go grab it from the bird's nest. Oh, wrong way. Frog alive. There you go. 
Try and get my health back. Alright. Head up top here, go grab that, uh... That Earth Ruin. How much money am I carrying on me right now, actually? I'm carrying not that much. Well, enough. Alright. Oh, come on. Come on, Sir Daniel. Can you do the platforming? Alright. Oh! Of course I fall. Platforming is not this game's strong suit. Alright, cool. I think it's this one that the. Oh, come on. Nope. It's probably gonna be the last one. It's always the last one, isn't it? Oh my god, can you not? Oh, it's, no, that's a shield. Kick the egg out, Daniel. There we go. I don't even know what the fuck the bird's defending. Its eggs aren't even babies. Once I get over this thing. There you go. Yeah, I don't feel like waiting. Alright. Over here. Time to release some fucking demons. Alright, that took forever to come down. Nonchalanta! Yes, I know. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna fucking enter. Uh, I forgot what this. Which. Yeah, doing it in like a certain order or some bullshit. Sir Dan, you must take the Shadow Demon Talisman. It is an unholy relic, but it may allow you to progress through Shadow Demon territory. Yeah. What what she said. Shadow Demon ta Talisman. Go go grab it. I forgot how to fucking do this. That's down. Okay, fire. Swirly. Did the fire come back up? Doesn't seem like it. Alright. Yes. I did release the demons. Alright. Shadow Talisman. Cool. Now, in order to get the, uh, the chalice, we gotta start slaying some shadow demons. Oh my god, Sir Daniel, can you stop? <laughs> can you not control yourself now? Thank you. What have you done? I freed some what demons. That's what I did. Demons are wreaking havoc across the land, and it's all thanks to you. 
Oh, I thank you. Don't worry, I'll stop him. I'll oh! How dare you! Man, for demons, you're not that tough. Alright, so yeah, demons. We gotta hunt them down in here to get the chalice. They're not too bad to deal with. But they do come in numbers. See if I can sneak up on a demon. Um, hello. Where the hell did that frog come from? Oh, demon. Be gone, demon. Back to you. There we go. Just a couple more. They're not that bad. Oh, there they are. Alright. Chalice is now complete. Let us go. Grab some chalice. Trying to remember how to get there, though. Try not to die on the way. I can take some more arrows. And chances sword will probably help out with the uh, demons. Was it? No, it wasn't that way, was it? It was this way. No, it was that way. Fuck, where am I going? It's this way. I just don't like that these guys are here. I'm a hero. I release the demons. Alright. Oh, Sir Dan. You see what I mean? I had no control over that. He just went. I need Star Ruin. Where the fuck is the Star Ruin? Oh, I know where the Star Ruin's at. Yeah, I know where the Star Ruin's at. God damn it. And I have no health. This is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good whatsoever. Yeah, I, I don't even think I can complete the level. Can I? Can I just walk out? I think I can just walk out. How the fuck do I get out of here? I'm not going through there. I'm trying to get, like, the easy way out. Where's the, um, where's the other exit for this area? Because I need to refill up on health before I even try to take the boss out. It wouldn't be that way, would it? That leads to the bird. It would be this way. 
for how do I open it? Oh, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. Oh man, I have no fucking health to deal with this. I'm trying to remember if I can just get like a early leave. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, this is gonna be bad. We're gonna get our first game over here. So this is the worst fucking boss fight in the game. Not because they're flying, not because you need to use uh not because you need to use range weaponry. It's because they move the fucking platform around. And if you fall off the platform, it's just insta-kill, right? So, for this, we're gonna be using our fucking javelins. And um Flame arrow. Yep. Uh huh. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to dash, it's just like, it just slips sometimes, you know? So that one's down. I'm just gonna ignore it, I'm just gonna ignore it. And dead. Woo! That was the best I ever did with that fight. And three javelins to spare. Alright, all I have to do is not kill myself. Huh! Awesome. Heal me up, Scotty. I'm gonna equip that. Equip my longbow. Alright. That wasn't too bad. That's why you saved those javelins. Get more health while I'm here. They just give me a bunch of health. They they assume that you're gonna die a couple of times. Well, not die, at least like fall off the platform a couple of times because you lose a whole entire health bar if you fall off. I probably should have more uh, life bottles here. I might be missing some. I'm not sure. All right. It sends me down here. Don't take the talisman back. Where the fuck do I go? Think I walk through here? I'm trying to remember where I go. It's been a while. Pretty sure not down here. But I just can't remember. Can you, can you, can you not? Sir Fortescue? Sir Fortescue. Uh, Sir Fortescue. Here we go. Alright. And we're out. To the Hall of Heroes. I am a hero. I did unleash the demons. How are we doing on time? Let's see. Alright. Um, upstairs. I don't know why I forgot where I was going. Can I get my sword? Can I get a cool sword? No. What are you going to give me? Something lame. Ten thousand courses for this guy. I bet money to be back pushing all daisies by now. Hey, I have something here for you. Do you like it very much? Do you want? He went from, like, Scottish to, like, stereotypical, like, Hispanic. I got this. You want? Come get it, Whittle. Alright. To 
12. We have 12. Okay. What does that leave us? Alright. So we have a bit more to go. And I think I'm going to end the stream here. That's what I'm going to do. Because I cannot sit in this chair no longer. And we've been streaming for a while. About three and a half hours. So. So far. We're making good progress. If I were to have like. If I were to stream earlier. I definitely could have finished this in like one stream. Right. But the way my schedule works right now at this very moment. I have to stream pretty late. So that sucks. Um. I should actually change that on the uh, on the stream page. Should change the times on that. But uh, yeah, we're making pretty good progress. There's not the reason I'm stopping here is because if I were to even go a little bit more, there might not even be enough to like warrant to like warrant just streaming it. And I mean, if I mean, I still would stream it, but it would be like it would be like what maybe an hour stream, an hour and a half stream, All right? At least at this current moment, if I were to go at this current moment, if I were to go a little bit longer, fucking, it would be a pretty quick stream, like, the next time I would do this. So, <clears throat> same time, tomorrow, right? Um, gonna be streaming this again, we're gonna be finishing it, it's a pretty short game. And... I think that's all I have to say. I'm currently scratching my leg. I think that's all I have to say. On that matter, everything's going pretty fine. We haven't had a game over yet, so that's good. I think I might be missing a couple of life bottles, so I'll look that up on my uh, spare time and see what I'm missing. But other than that, uh, that's going to be it for the stream uh, right now as of this moment. So for those who tune in, thank you so much means a lot. Sorry, I was scratching my nose. For those on YouTube, thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the stream sometime in the future, right? It would be nice to hang out with you guys and chat and stuff like that. The videos would definitely be longer because I would be more distracted, but still, it's worth it. And, yeah. I'm really drawing a blank as to, like, what else I'm missing to say, but I don't think I'm missing to say much. I think I'm just thinking about, like, tomorrow... Tomorrow they'll, uh, is it tomorrow? Yeah, like, after, after today, because it's, like, the morning, early in the morning. But, yeah, tomorrow they'll do the, uh, the fucking, um, PlayStation announcement stuff, and I'm kind of excited for that, so. So I'll watch that, and I'll definitely talk about that a little bit. I'm not, I'm, I probably wouldn't make a video like that, but in, like, the stream I'll definitely talk about that, and, you know the xbox and all that when i think about it just like you know pass some time but yeah if it's the morning for you guys have a lovely rest of your day if it's the evening uh make sure you settle down tonight you know take a break get up for your next day of adventure and if it's late night then all hope is lost to you because you're like me and you probably suck at getting sleep so once again I want to thank you all for watching, and my throat is killing me, therefore I will see you in the next video, so take care.